Hey, I'm Mark Wilson. Thanks for joining me. And today we're going to make chili. Um, the basis of this comes from a trip that I took through South Texas. It's a cold day, which is perfect chili weather. Um, and we stopped off at this small little uh, town that had this restaurant. It seemed like it had like a cypress wraparound porch. Door didn't even close right. Um, but when you entered that place, you definitely... You definitely knew they were cooking chili because it just lingered in the air. And it was bold. It really had a lot of great flavors to it. And um, so this is what this recipe is based on. So I'm going to go ahead and get to it and uh, get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to heat this up, put a little oil in it because uh, today we're cooking with bison. And that is naturally lean, so we're going to have to put a little fat in there. By way of uh, olive oil, vegetable oil, whichever one you've got, we're going to brown the meat and then we're going to start adding in the uh, other aspects. So we're browning our meat over medium heat and while we're waiting for that to finish up, we're going to go ahead and add some onions. And we've got our onions going. We're going to let this get a little more translucent. We're going to brown our meat and um, we're going to add in our peppers and our garlic just added in our bell peppers and the garlic i'm going to let this go for about five minutes and then we're going to mix it in with our bison this we want to stir break up any clumps or anything that's stuck to the bottom or tension stuck to the bottom get this all mixed up and we're going to start adding in now just mixed, stirred in some of the tomato paste. Now we're going to put in the chipotle with a double sauce. Which really is what gives it a nice bold flavor. And then we're going to start adding in the rest of our ingredients. Get them all nice and mixed in. Next up is our jalapeno. We're going to start adding our seasoning. We're going to start with our two teaspoons of salt, one teaspoon of sugar. One teaspoon of smoked paprika. If you don't have smoke, it's okay. Use whatever you have. Cumin, ground. Half a teaspoon of black pepper. And half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. If you want a little bit less of a kick, cut the cayenne pepper in half. Just gonna get this stirred up and then we'll be right back. Now it's time to add in our tomatoes. We're adding our beans. Now we're going to add in our beef stock because it's okay with making things more beefy. And uh, don't use chicken stock because we're not, we're not making chicken here. We're going to get it all started up and we get it going to a boil. So now we just want to get all this combined. Scrape this thing across the bottom in case anything's stuck to it. One thing to keep in mind, we'll be cooking this for two hours, like over a simmer. And you'll need to stir it occasionally if you put it in a pot. But if you've watched enough of my videos, uh, you know I like uh, two things important when I'm cooking. One, it's going to be damn good, otherwise I'm not going to do anything with it. The second one is, I like things to be as easy as possible on me. Uh, therefore, I'm trying to give you a hint on how to make it easy as possible on you. Which is why once I get this up and kind of boiling, I'm going to just transfer it over here to my 1970s throwback out here in the crock pot. Um, have that thing go on an auto simmer and let it go for about two hours and uh, makes my life a lot easier. If you got one of those, it make your life a lot easier too. I've got it loaded up. Time to put the cover on it. Set the time for about two hours. Come back and check it out then. It's going to be divine. Where do you have, here you have it, folks. Flavors, so spectacular, so amazing. It'll surprise you. Unlike that one Friday night, um, around midnight. It's drizzling, hear a loud commotion, dogs go crazy. I'm going to tell you what side with my flashlight, shine my light, and see 16 eyes in, side by side staring back at me. Um, while my heart maybe skipped a beat for a little bit, um, come to find out really what it was, it was a couple of jackasses, a pony, 
goats and a uh, damn alpaca. No, try getting those herded in away from the highway that late. Yeah, uh, this will surprise you as well, but in a fantastic and a great way. What I like to put it on that Louisiana popcorn rice, which is divine for me. You can do it Cincinnati style. You can put this over French fries. You can eat it just like this with a dollop of some sour cream cheese or just eat it just like this, period. I think you're going to find it that great. So let me know what you think. Hook me up at Cooking with Wilson at Gmail, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok, whichever one you want to use. And let me know what you think. Also, the recipe is in the description of this uh, video. So check it out. It's also links uh, to cookbooks, volume one and two, they're out. All my cookbooks um, for sale. All the money that I receive for those go to a charity. Uh, this time around, this was gonna be in volume three of the cookbook. And all the money I receive for that is gonna go to uh, smiletrain.org. If you're able to help out and donate, that'd be fantastic. Uh, we could all, just a few donations, helps basically put another smile on a kid's face and uh, change your lives forever. So. It's a great cause. The link to smiletrain.org is below. Go there. You can donate directly. And um, hang in there. Take care. And until next time.